Christians sure are happy this time of year. How happy are they? More happy than peace at a coffee shop. You who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Don't be afraid. You found favor with God. You will give birth to a child and name him Jesus. Uh, how can that be? I'm, I'm a virgin. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. For nothing is impossible with God. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He also went there to register with Mary, who pledged to be married to him and was his wife. days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register. And there were shepherds living out in the field nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. Don't be afraid. I bring good news to you. A Savior will be born in town of David tonight, and he has a sign for y'all. He will be wrapped in cloth and laying in a manger. Oh. oh my God! Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened that the Lord has told us about. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. Well, Albert. Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. Go and make a careful search for him. And when you find him, report to me, so that I may, too, <laughs> After they had heard the king, the magi went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was born. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and laid him in a manger. Warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. <laughs> 